everyone! Uh, welcome back to this region with me. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Today, we are going to look outside and enjoy the sun because we have two sunshine yellow, super happy, adorable Quebecco sports to look at. Now, there are two here. It's not two of the exact same pen, they're slightly different. What I will tell you, these are from Fonto Plumo. I was, I was like trying to see over the card. And uh, Fonto Plumo is located in the Netherlands. These were sent to me to review. This is not paid. Um, I really like these because they're my color thing, like color style. I like bright, happy things. And uh, I'm very grateful that uh, Frank reached out to me to see if I was interested in them. Because of course, look how happy and bright this is. Now, you can shop on the Fonto Plumo website and I'll put a link below. I'll put a link to the, the pens. And if you are fortunate enough to be in the region of the Netherlands, uh, Fonto Plumo also has a shop in Delft. First of all, Delft is super cute and totally worth going to because it's just adorable. And then there's the Fonto Plumo shop, which is located like on this beautiful street and like across the street, there's like these big trees. It's just, it's just so nice. Um, I've done a field trip there on my blog with just a couple of pictures. So I will also include a link to that if I remember. If not, you can just go to my blog and go to the fountain pens index page and under field trips, you will find Fonto Plumo. Okay. So the pens now, these pens, I will tell you from the start, they are about 20 euros. And that might, I mean, the price might vary ever so slightly for the regular Covecos, but these are Fonto Plumo exclusives. And typically, I, I like Caveco Sports a lot because I think they are affordable. Um, I like the nib range. The nibs usually perform quite well. I know with the broader nibs, like the double broad, sometimes they can be over polished. These are both broad nibs. No problems with them. I also like them because they come in fun colors, like the yellow, and uh, like they're great gift pens. Like they're just they're very accessible. I think pretty easy to use. Usually they take um, standard international cartridge, and they also have like a mini squeeze converter, which I hate. So I usually eye dropper them. Enough of my chit chat. Let me just show you a little bit about the pens, and then we will take a look at how they work, and I will show you what I inked them with but I'm not gonna tell you right now. One of the things I like, Quebeco gives very simple packaging. And I like this because I don't think this pen needs a whole lot. So these boxes are perfect. Inside the pen came in a little plastic sleeve. I think the sleeve is unnecessary, but because it's plastic, I'm not really huge on excessive plastic. Some people don't care, that's totally fine. I, I think it could do without it because I think the box is sufficient. The body of the pen is pretty robust. It's it's a very hard, like, ABS plastic, I believe they use ABS plastic. So it's very hard, it's very robust. I don't really know if it needs a plastic sleeve. So anyway, these are the boxes. So as I said, there are two pens. The first one, well, they're both yellow. Okay, so. Um, I have it open just so I don't mess them up, mix them up, okay. the. The one that has silver trim, so it's this one, it has a silver little medallion and the nib is also silver colored to match. This is the Sunrise and the one with gold colored metal and logo, you don't, you, the logo is, this is a Quebeco logo, medallion. And the nib is also um, gold colored these are both steel nibs. This is just a gold colored steel nib and that's a silver colored steel nib. This one is the Sunset. Okay, so um, I guess you could think of it as the Sunset is like a warmer color because of the gold trim and the Sunrise is cooler because it's coming up from the blue of nighttime, like the twilight of nighttime. So maybe that'll help you remember. And how do you pick? Like how do you pick between two adorable things with like a warmer tone and a cooler tone. I guess if you hate gold colored furniture, this one's not an option for you. And if you love gold colored furniture, then it is. So it's up to you. They're both the same price. They both have the same nib options, function the same. Um, they have the same features, shipped in the same box. So 
how do, how do you pick? I obviously couldn't pick, hence is, this is why I have both. Now, they both have broad nibs. Um, let's take a look at how these work. And I'll show you like a little more detail because it'll be easier up close, show you how it fits in my hand and stuff. And I'll show you what inks I chose because I bet you have no idea. So thank you so much to Fonta Plumo for sending these for me to check out and give you a mini review of. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about them because I really like the colors. Like I think they're just, they're just so happy. They're fun, happy colors. Dangerous to collect because every couple years um, they come up with a new one. There's also a lot of exclusives. Like there's like, um, there was a Spain exclusive, which was a really nice orange. And I believe there was a um, Bungu box. No, that was a the, all, the aluminum one, sorry. Um, I know the Spain one for sure. So anyway, enough of my rambling. I just think they're really fun. I really like the colors. I'm, I'm again, I'm grateful to Fonte Plumo for sending these. Thank you so much. Uh, let's take a look at how they work down on the paper. Okay. Oh, sunrise. Okay. I can't sing and I will not. So welcome back to the pen video with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. So we are working with the Caveco Sport. These are the Fonte Plumo exclusives. Now, the top one, it's kind of hard to tell in this light. Actually, I can't even tell in this light. Okay, the top one is the silver trim and the bottom one is the gold trim. So, we remember that the gold trim is the sunset because it's like evening and it's warm and the color is nice and the sunrise is cooler because it's like coming up from like the blue of the twilight and dawn and stuff like that. So, that's how I remember it. Really cute pen. Really like the color. It's very happy and bright. Okay. Oh, I've got ink everywhere. Sorry. My fault because I've been throwing them around while I've tried to prepare. This is how it is unposted. For me, I can actually use them unposted fairly well, but they're definitely more comfortable posted. Super secure. Great. Very robust pocket pen. Now, again, you can do a cartridge or converter, like the Caveco Squeeze Converter. I have them eyedroppered by putting some grease on the oh, um, on the threads here. If you're going to eyedropper it, try not to throw it around. Now, these both have broad nibs. Let's zoom in, take a look at this. Okay, so you have to be able to see what I'm doing. So we've got the... Hideous handwriting, but I'm writing through a tripod. You're just gonna have to deal with it. This is the Caveco Sport. This is the Sunrise version with a steel broad nib. Now, what is the ink? Dun -dun! It is Caveco Summer Purple, and I thought that this is kind of like a like a sunrisey color when it's been like a cool evening in the summer, you know? Summer purple. No issues with the nib. It actually is quite well adjusted, well tuned, quite pleasant. So, that is the sunrise. Let's take a look at the sunset. Oh, I should post it. Um this is the sunset. I wonder if I should have flipped those colors. I don't know. This is just how it is for now. This one is one of my favorite inks, which is Caveco Paradise Blue. So let me write that down for you. Caveco Paradise Blue. I find this one a little bit broader and I like it just a little bit more. It's just a bit smoother, but very small amount of difference between the two. So there you go. I think they're cute. I love the color. 20 euros, like, I don't know, 25 bucks. Not bad. Cute stuff. There you go. Thank you so much to Fonto Plumo for sending these over for me to check out. Super grateful. I think the colors are really fun and the Caveco Sport line is pretty awesome, especially when it's a fun color. I hope you found this somewhat useful, 
And if you did, I would be so grateful if you would like and subscribe, maybe even share the video, like no pressure, but if you want. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And again, I appreciate all your support and encouragement and likes and views. Otherwise, I would just be doing this for no reason, and that would be kind of weird. So, thank you again. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.